In today's tutorial, I am going to go over a few of the effects that are in Audacity. First, I am going to go over noise removal, so you usually want to do this with something you've recorded. And then I'll just go in and get one of my raw audio tracks from a screencast. To do this with a video, just open with and then navigate to Audacity for the first time. And there is going to be white noise within the video, so I'm just going to zoom in on an area that will probably have it. Usually the areas with a little bit of silence like these here will have some white noise. So then go up to Effect, then Noise Removal. And you want to click Get Noise Profile. This is where you select what types of sounds you want to be removed. If you're editing music and you need to take out all the bass on a part, just select what the bass sounds like throughout the song and it will remove that. In this case, we want to do white noise. So select an area that should have white noise, then go back to Effect, Noise Removal, and then click OK. And it will remove all sounds with that profile, giving you less white noise. Next, we are going to do a fade in and a fade out. Fade in, fade out. Normally, you want to select the beginning or ending of your track, depending on, because otherwise it will fade the entire song. So if you select fade in from the very beginning, it will get progressively louder throughout the entire track until the very end where it reaches normal audio, so select the part you want to fade, effect, fade in, and simple as that as you can't really see it with this, but it gets progressively louder as you go through. I'm going to switch tracks really quickly so I can demonstrate better. So I'll show you what fade in actually looks like it gets louder and then fade out is the same just at the very end so effect fade out and it fades all the way out and then I'll show you how to do an echo which is where it reverberates your voice this does not sound good at all in an audio track but what you want to do is you want to generate silence about three seconds this is so it can reverberate throughout and select all the area that you want to be echoed then go effect echo the decay factor is how much the sound is reduced each time so for this each time that you have an echo it is half as loud as the previous one delay time is how frequent so then select OK and you can't really notice it here because I'm not going to play it it'll sound horrible with this track, but you can notice here how this is half as loud as this, and the same with this, and the same with this, and that's echo. This is usually best done on a voice only audio track. It'll sound the best and it will give you the best results. And that is my tutorial on a few of the effects in Audacity. Thank you for watching.